welcome back and we're moving into our third segment for today mm. as we're going to get into a bit of an art lesson and find out about a very interesting event taking place this weekend. We have with us on the end Christine Huang who is a trainer at the Taiwan Culture Exchange Program in Belize. We have in the middle Tristian Coleman who is the student council president of SJC Junior College, a second year uh, student. And in the, uh, next to me, we have Corin Wallen, who is a third form student at SJC High School, also a prefect, very proudly. <laughs> and uh, good morning, welcome. Thank you for having us, good morning. Thank you for being here. And you're here to tell us about Make-A-Wish Lantern Night, right? Yes. Okay, so let's find out first about this collaboration between the art Skills Training Center and SJC. Okay, so what we do, we partnership up with them. So uh, we try to assist by, well, SJC actually has a, a Taiwan um, club, we? a Taiwanese club. Mm -hmm. So, and that's where they, well, you want to explain that? You're in the club? Um, I'm not actually in the club, but a friend of mine is in it and he runs it and he's very good friends with Miss Fiona. Mm -hmm. And he's actually a student of hers for the art. And I think that they suggested it. and. Over the summer, they had workshops at the youth department and they had some at Pelote. And most recently, they've had it at John's too. Okay. And what do they learn in their Taiwan club and this uh, partnership that they have? They learn the calligraphy and they learn a bit of the Mandarin language, like how to say your name or thank you. Thank you. How do you say thank you? Do you remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't so it, see, it's a, it's a battle to learn, we'll, we'll learn, to learn the language. We'll learn something by the end of the day. Yeah. But, but it's, yeah. you know, it's nice to know that you, there is actually, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the group there that you actually learn new language and then again new ways of, of especially when it comes to the culture that's one of the things that eventually pushes us pushes us over the edge as Belizeans so we've got Belizeans that are part of this club uh, who actually are able to speak the language I wanted to hear the thank you though I really wanted to hear that or at least say it's, one thing what do you remember do you guys know anything well, yes he, I think, he I was um, he was here during the summer camp so yeah. During summer, we have a um, few groups of workshops. Mm -hmm. And in the workshop, we have, we learned the Mandarin language, and he was a part of it. Mm -hmm. And we learned the, um, our thing this year, the Zhongyuan Festival. So okay. uh, we started with this festival because we want something that has a, a similarity between Taiwan and Belize. We're trying to find a connection. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Zhongyuan Festival happened to be one. Um, for example, the Halloween, the Oso Day, the mm -hmm. Day of the Days, um, etc. And yeah. um, the schools, they are, are um, the people who came mm -hmm. um, because we want to reach for a lot of Belizeans and the easier ways just through school. Yeah. So, and St. John's, because of the club and um, the principals who are good friends with us, so mm -hmm. we have the students coming in. Uh -huh. And other than that, we also um, have adults, for example, the scholars who come for a symposium like for a more in-depth discussion mm -hmm. of the topic. Yes. Now, we know uh, a lot of the work uh, that takes place is very art-focused. Uh, um, you work with uh, students, your mom works with yes. students. Um, of course, she's Fiona. Everybody knows Miss Fiona, but she I doesn't like Fiona. the camera. Um, but well known, and I think it has definitely been a great opportunity to exchange uh, cultures and practices and traditions. Mm -hmm. um, for you, what has the experience been like working with students and sharing this part of, of your culture? Um, it's always... Um Sometimes when the work gets um, tedious and you feel that like, um, it's too much pressure on you, and but you go into the class, you see the students, and you see how they want to learn, mm -hmm. and um, like in an one hour time, and they will be able to speak a few sentences or to understand the structure of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Or during the summer camp, we have um, they go online, so I teach in the structure. They go online to search for the words, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the class, they could make some very creative sentences, and that always cheers you up and reminds you why you love doing this so much. Oh. So, what, what, in terms of uh, culturally, what uh, have you? What is the most interesting thing when it comes to culturally that you've learned about us, about um, Belize, actually? Um, when 
we learned about the, for example, the All Souls Day and the Day of the Dead. Mm -hmm. uh, with, for, for example, right now people are making the altar, right? Yeah. In Taiwan, we also made the altar. Oh, wow. And we also dedicate those altar to the dead. Around this time of year as well? No, no. It okay. was for the, um, the seven month okay. in the lunar calendar. In the lunar okay. calendar. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. So Tristan, tell us about uh, your involvement in this. Well, I actually was at the opening mm -hmm. of the program and it was amazing because then that's when I became excited about this program and learning about about how how these how this organization is reaching out to Belizeans and to the students and they're trying to get them involved and how I myself who wants to go study in Taiwan mm -hmm. in the future mm -hmm. then I find this as I mean to my advantage because I can already try to learn the, mm -hmm. the, the language in advance of course I'm pretty sure I'm very bad at it <laughs> but um, but you pretty know sure you're not. <laughs> well I mean hopefully but I mean and we learn about you know we watch some movies in in the in Taiwan I mean yeah. I mean it's in Ma Taiwan movies it's in Mandarin of course so mm -hmm. I mean but it's very interesting and we, as we learn more about their culture we also learn to appreciate more about our culture yeah and then we've it's amazing because um the, these people are so many miles away and yet we can still have a couple similar traits right you know one of the things uh, about sgc uh tristan is that tristian actually is that uh, students are actually involved everybody is that's a together place that's one of the things that we notice now as the student government uh, student, actually the president of the student student council how do you try to get these folks more involved in uh, cultural exchange programs like this one? What do you tell them? What's it like for them? Well, I mean, basically, the, we pass on the information and we try to reach out or try to get the information as much out there as possible. Okay. And you find it, interestingly enough, that the students who are really, really want it, they come to you. Nice. And that's why we, as student council, we encourage everyone to come to us. Mm -hmm. And then that way, and then we will pass on the information and we will basically market anyone's proposal and we'll try to get students and, and you know, we're, we are a very diverse group and like you said, but we're still united. Nice. And, and you find people interested in so many different things and you know, everyone has their own different social groups in the school, but then they're still diverse as well. So then you get one person encouraging the group and say, oh wait, I like that. Let's go do that. And, yeah. then, and then that's how it grows. You know, Tristan, I think you also uh, highlighted a very important point. We have so many students in Taiwan with this program and the relationship that you've built, especially with uh, teaching art. It really gives people a first exposure. Uh, so when they travel there, they, they won't know everything. They won't yeah. be fully prepared, but they'll have little uh, things that they can be able to identify and understand. Yeah. So tell us about the Make-A-Wish Water Lantern Night. Where, where did this, this is your closing ceremony, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. okay. So tell us uh, why you went with the water lanterns. Oh, oh, <laughs> Whatever okay. feels best fit to answer, because it's cool. Okay, well, I mean, maybe you can say why. The significance of the water lantern. Let's start there. All right, uh, the wat water lantern is very common in Asia. Um, the purpose, now we write our wishes. Mm -hmm. So in, before we have um, people who made the lanterns for their loved one yeah. who passed away, but now we... Um, we, we, we make it, we write our uh, wishes on them, and we set them on the water. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it says that the further it flows, uh, more likely the wish will come true. Mm -hmm. But, in, for example, in the Southeast Asia, they make the lantern from bamboo, I mean, not from bamboo, um, banana leaves, and mm -hmm. they are more natural parts. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter if it goes in the river or the sea. But our ones we made from the wood, mm -hmm. and we have some candles in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to pollute the rivers in Belize nor the sea. So <laughs> we actually um, got sponsored from uh, Princess Ramada, mm -hmm. and they said we can um, set yeah. the lantern in their pool. Uh -huh. Sweet. Isn't it beautiful? And we made um, 215 lanterns. So. It is also our um, tradition that if, if we have, for example, 100 or 200 or something, that um, our wish will come true. Oh, oh wow. wow. Can 215 lanterns fit in the pool? I yeah. think we think so? Contest, yes. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so it is the tradition that you write your wishes yes. on the lantern itself. And we're going to learn how to make this lantern as well. Yeah. 
All right. But who made the other 215? Um, the, the workshop. The workshop. It's actually two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty. Yeah, wow, that's a lot. 15. That's a lot. So you are the students made them. Yeah, yeah the, the students who attended the, the program and were learning about Mandarin. That's what. And calligraphy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Which of course is a push for those of us or those of you who want to make that trek all the way to Taiwan to get your educational status <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least I can read something. You, th let's go. I, I really want to see this. All right. Good. So here we go. What is this? Uh, do I, am I holding it back way or no. No. upside down? Uh -huh. This looks like 41. <laughs> so here we so go. Here we have some samples. That one is success. Success, success yeah. Yes. Okay. And we have here um, peace, mm -hmm. or um, I mean, safe and sound. Okay. Uh, future. Um, goodbye, so we say goodbye to the bad how things. Do you say, how do you say goodbye in your language? 再见. What? 再见. 再见. Yes. yes. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have some samples here. Mm -hmm. um, so we get to choose one of these and try to make yes. them as well. Okay, yes. well let's get started and we'll keep on talking while we're working, right? All right, so here we go. So, who's going to be the calligraphy teacher this morning? <laughs> Everybody move it's out the way for you. It's always when the student becomes the teacher, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, all right, Christine. Oh, we'll, you, we'll all be students today. Yeah. You've got leverage. You've got a lot of places <laughs> to go here. So, you're, you're good. So, I got peace, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So, uh -huh. I'll make a wish of peace. Okay. So peace or this is family. This is family. Okay. Um, she, she's Petrotic. giving me what to wish for. <laughs> I'm good with peace. <laughs> <laughs> and this is? Um, patriotism. patriotism. Patriotism? Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. And that one? Um, same success. 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 Yes. Good. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll and wish. then we had a will. Well? Uh, oh, you could give me well. <laughs> I thought you were going to get success. <laughs> All right. Um, so these are your papers. Okay, thank but you. I think it's better if we try to practice on the... Okay, on a oh, we pra okay. before we practice on the lantern paper, okay. yeah. we right. practice on a typing sheet. So, so Corey, you can help Miss Marini yeah. and... Okay. Yes, please, help me. <laughs> I'm not right, exactly buddy. very artsy. Alright, so, so here we have some uh, materials. This is the ink. Mm -hmm. It's a Indian, it's called Indian ink. Mm -hmm. And it comes in two forms, so one's in the stick and one's in the liquid form. Okay. And then we put the ink in this um, stone, mm -hmm. on the stone. So if you have the stick version, you just drop some water and then you grind the stick. Okay. And, and you make the ink. Okay. And All right, so, so when you are uh, writing Chinese calligraphy, you always want the pen to be upright. And okay. you want to hold it um, closer. Yes, closer. So you can have this one. And uh, we have. So, I have success. Please don't take my success. Um, but you know what I always tell the, our students? Mm -hmm. If it gets too difficult, just imagine you're trying to draw. Okay. I mean, everybody could, can try to draw. And you're giving us a lot of disclaimers. This is hard, <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, you want to? Okay, and yeah. Corey. So, Corinne, you can uh, do family? Okay. All right, so, so, we just draw what we see here? Yes, and it starts. Tristan looks the so happy he doesn't have a brush right okay, now. So the first stroke. I actually tried to do one the for fun stroke. yesterday, uh -huh. yes. and yeah. that yeah, one I believe it was horribly wrong. So, mm -hmm. so I will not attempt to shame myself today on TV. That's all right. We one all got to be able to make fun of ourselves sometimes. Two. Yep. One and two. One. The third one's here. Yep. And then oh, one done. And this one, this stroke goes first. Straight down. No, across. Across. And then the straight down. Yeah, and then the straight it. down. Yep. Yeah, you don't push down on it too hard. Oh. And then you're set. So you go straight down and you okay. lift up How are your you pen. doing? <laughs> when yep. we were actually making and it, just it that. took like two days to learn it, then transfer it to the calligraphy paper. If, if the That's just how hard it was for us. My brush is like... All right, so that's the first one. So do we do the second one as well? Yes. So start okay. with the dots on the top. 
Mm. Yep. Welcome. And then this okay. short bones this way. So that one was way. the easier one of the two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to make any mistakes. Oh no, you can't make mistakes. I'm sure you can and do it. This one. This <laughs> is. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Okay. okay. I think because normally what you do, you try to do the this. bigger parts and first. Oh, there so I go. I did the smaller one already. It's just a square. One, yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. So this looks like it does. And then one. I think you should just do the down, big one. line across. The line across. Yeah, the big okay. one. Goes down. Make oh like an angle. Yeah. Cross. And then you should ch- maybe I'm suggesting the, the L looking middle. thing. Yeah, the like yeah. The greater the than sign. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Y in the middle. And the bottom. Yes. Ta-da! I'm like <laughs> painting. <laughs> yep. It's basically Ooh. painting, yeah. <laughs> Alright. It's just harder to control it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <gasps> Wait. And then the oh, last oh, two. Oh, the la- yeah. Um, for example, you, mm-hmm. you want like a nice point. Mm-hmm. So there's a point. Yep. I just want to make sure that I correct that. Oh, it's okay. Usually you should just um, okay. try another one. All right. That was my first mm-hmm. attempt. Wait, you, you're missing one? You're missing what one. am I missing? Right here. The one. Oh, the one to the top. Yes. yes. I'm sure that's important. All right. So I, I, I tried. I think that's a very good try. You mm-hmm. think so? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I tried. This is success. Sweet. No, this is wealth. <laughs> oh, well, yes, well. Even better. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't so get this, that point. So this is the first step. The writing has like that's. Mm-hmm. Do you fill it in afterwards? Do you make it pointed in the end? Okay, Christine. And, mm? and then. Do you? Look, I can't get the points neat. Ta-da. Nice. No, that's, that's lovely. Really good. I like the first one. It's the first one is yes. good. And then the second one is artistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that how you tell people? <laughs> <laughs> no, in Chinese calligraphy, we have. Um, Many different ways and many different styles to write it. Okay. Yes. So it's like handwriting uh, yes. analysis. You can tell something by. <laughs> Actually, I believe there. This is the modern, right? And then there's mm-hmm. the the old, the old yes, version. Yes. There's the yeah. older version. Yeah, with more with more items on it. Okay. All right. Are you gonna show yours? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that one is artistic as no, well. No, no, no. He did he did practice and then he did the real thing. This one is close. Okay. That looks ancient. <laughs> this looks like a scorpion. Oh, that's that's good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting there. We're getting no, no, there. I'm good. So, <laughs> oh, gosh. Christina, just I want to talk about the significance yes. of being able to pass on this to other people. Obviously, you know, we 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 are being very jovial, mm-hmm. and, but it is a, a very important skill for them to learn as well, so they can help to understand some of the writing. Tell me more about it. Calligraphy <laughs> is ancient. We know that. Yes. Um, I think in cat. A calligraphy, not, not always they are interested to learn um, the culture, but when you say, you're going, I'm going to teach you calligraphy, mm-hmm. everybody wants to learn. Everybody wants to learn how to write. Yeah. When you say, all right, let's learn about Mandarin, maybe they get scared because of the grammar and things, but when it's calligraphy, um, everybody wants to be a They part want, of it. and then mm-hmm. especially when you tell them, if you don't know how to write it, just imagine it as a painting, and then you try to draw it. Like you told us in the first place. Yep. Mm. That's how I always get them to start. <laughs> ah. All right. Okay, so we, we passed the test. We can go on to the permanent paper now? Yes, but we, okay. you actually need uh, four words. You only have two. So okay. Oh, so and we you have two more. four sides. And um, each word will go on each side. Okay. Each side. So. okay. so I have peace. And what was the other That's, one? Um, seven sound. This is? Oh, safe and sound. Uh-huh. Safety. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I do wish that for myself. So I have wealth here. So we do another one, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So, so this one is? Um, let's say, so, oh, you, so you pick this one, um, before, the success. Success. Yes. And wealth. Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> I think those, uh, that is a pretty good wish. <laughs> I know. So, uh, all right, I think I'm all ready. Right. So um, let, me get, let me get my blank I'll so that I start. whatever wish you grant me, there, Jeannie. Looks fun. <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> that's not how we're picking the wishes. 
<laughs> that's a fun one. Oh, wait, wait, this one looks even more fun. Let's, 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 let's start with what's more practical. <laughs> okay, this one? Or, um, friendship? Friendship, okay. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Yeah. All right, so yeah. that's the first. You need so. one. Yeah, you need, Where the you need the second, second one. one. Where the blocks? You pick a fun one for him. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a fun um, what, what, is, what is this? Uh, health. Okay. Health. Yeah. Okay. I already have a good health. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, but you got to wish it for the future. That's when it's important. <laughs> okay, and so let me do a little test run over here. I feel like... Well, what I will find interesting Tell me. on that night is that we're also going to be alongside a hundred international students. Nice. Uh, well, international Jeez. youth, Jeez. yeah, youth Jeez. members, sorry. And yeah. they're going to be coming for their own program. I believe it's the World, World youth, youth Conference. Summit. Yes. Yes, so they will be there. And well, we have 250 lanterns, so we're going to give them a hundred of them. So, so all of them can participate and cast a wish into the... That is going to be such a cool experience. Yes, yeah. and it, it's going to be really fun because, I'll, well, 150 local youths are going to be alongside them. Yeah. So it's a nice um, opportunity to mingle and share our culture with each other. And well, we can't teach them calligraphy, but we're going to try to exchange as much as we can in the, during the program. And, and Chris, uh, Christian, for exchange students who come to Belize, what are some of the things that they are anxious to know about our country or anxious to learn? Well, I mean, I, I kind of took a peek at the agenda for their program. Mm -hmm. And they, it seems that the conferences are going to be very informational. Informative, sorry. Mm -hmm. and, because they, and because they're going to be so informative with so many different things about our food, and basic Belizean things that mm -hmm. we, I hope they take them to Orange Rock for some Orange Rock tacos, honestly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, you know, Orange Rock tacos is a franchise you can get in Belize today now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, things like that about their food and basic culture. And I believe that they can take away a lot of information from these things. And hopefully, by mingling with the Belizean representatives, they they can learn about a lot more about our home country. I think so too. And we also want to thank um, the Belize Department of Youth Services mm -hmm. for providing this opportunity for everybody really, for the international youth and for us. Uh, they have always been a huge um, help for us, for example, every time we need help, uh, we just run to them and mm -hmm. they will have something for us. And um, the best thing now today as for next week Tuesday, the Lantern Night, um, to have the youth join us all around the world. What do you hope that the young people from all across the Caribbean and Belize will be able to learn from this experience about the Taiwanese culture? <laughs> um, Other than calligraphy is harder than it looks. <laughs> Um, I, I do want to. I do want them to be able to learn that, um, even as different as we may see, or as far as the countries are um, mm -hmm. apart, um, there are always similarities between customs and cultures. Okay. And we, to find peace, we have to find our connections. Connections. Mm -hmm. yes. I love that. Great. Okay. See, you're doing so good with that this time. Okay, so what, what it's like a lot more complicated stuff. So done, we can. Yeah. Okay, can we'll yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll show you. My right. first attempt was really just beginner's luck. Where are we with the cameras so, here? Yeah. My first attempt was clearly beginner's <laughs> luck. So there we go. I think it's better to All right, come. but I'll do it on paper now. Okay, and okay. okay. All right. So you want to write? So we write okay. again on this one. Yeah, you're on each like. Fold, mm -hmm. you're going to write a different symbol. Yes. Tristan, see, I told you, your teacher turned. Uh, <laughs> All right, so what's the I'm a student whiteboard? turned teacher. Yeah. So you can put this one first. So the first one goes here, the second one goes here. And then mm -hmm. the third. Oh my God, so we okay. draw them again. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> one, two. One. Yes. Two. This one? Yes, yes, two. Do you want to do one over here? 
I think you guys I think I think you're going to in the interest of time you one of you can start that there you you seem you can't let her do all the work yeah thank you Men and women for others, right? That's yes. SJC? Yes. <laughs> All right, good. Oh, yes, that's good. All right, please. I need a second order. All right. So the second point is this one. Yes. All right, so. I'm doing the bottom one. The harder one, thank you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this workshop this didn't pay off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the bad students. Yes. So. so. Okay. Unknown. Yep. So speaking of language, do any of you know any words in Mandarin? <laughs> ni hao. Ni hao, yeah, I know ni hao. Ni hao wo jia bo jian. Oh, ah. you're so, I cannot believe you still remember that. I know xie xie. That means thank you. It means thank you, right? right. So if I can't say anything That's else, I'll be able to tell you thanks. Okay. Then that means it should be awesome. And then you can get more ink. Is this hard? Yeah. I think a lot of pressure. All right, so these two, right? So this one or this one? Anyone? First, this one. Okay, the first one. So we start. I have a question that we didn't learn in the workshop. So. If if we write this bad, does that mean that we get the opposite of our wish? Or <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I think the most important thing is you, you enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. This is fun. Okay. Of course, we've totally tuned out our audience. We're so sorry. We hope <laughs> you find it interesting, but we do. <laughs> now, that's a good question, though. If someone from the public like sees this and says, that's so cool, I want to learn that. Can they Shepherd, access uh, the any of the classes? Like, do you have public classes for I calligraphy? I think since we have the materials now, we may be able to do some um, to open some classes. Okay. Uh, for the public, but um, that's definitely something we can look into yeah. in the future. Yeah. Or even Mandarin classes. Oh, we do have Mandarin classes. Um, for example, during summers or. You know, just the vacations. Oh gosh. No, just Ar artistic, yes. <laughs> artistic. Alright, and then this one. So you do want um, to um, speed up see version of this one. It's becoming like a mop. So okay. you want to So on Tuesday mm -hmm. on Tuesday, all the young people is it open to the public as well? We have um in invitation for the students. Mm -hmm. So the students, they need to bring their school ID at the gates mm -hmm. um, to enter. Okay. Um, and they will all make their own lantern. No, not... No, no they've already made the lanterns. <laughs> so they'll just do what? They'll yeah. just add it, they'll just put it in the pool. Oh. And before that, we have a few performances for them to see. Who'll be performing? Um, we actually have four different things. Well, three songs that will be playing. Mm -hmm. um, we have guitars, violins, and maybe we have like a drum too. Okay. And then the, some of the younger students will actually be singing for that part too. Oh. In and Mandarin. Yeah, they'll sing it in Mandarin. Yes, the children are practicing very, very, um, they'll be working on it for months. And I also want to take this opportunity to show you the t-shirt or t-shirts. So the, um, the children from the art class also designed the t-shirts. Okay. And we have one part from Belize and the emblem from the Taiwanese flag. Oh. And so, it's um, a Spotlight Taiwan um, Culture Exchange Program in Belize. So, mm -hmm. so uh, or no, let's use it's glue? Yes, oh, it's right, glue. glue. Do you okay. glue all corners or just the paper together in no. the end? So yes, we put a bit of, of glue on uh, each corner. On each corner? Okay. Yes. So I'll just put some glues here. You have to open it, or is it open? Okay. And then you can have the glue. Oh. Okay, you, you go ahead, by all means. Okay, you can, you can <laughs> use it. So, um, 
Wait, how do we... Just a little bit of glue. I think we're going to use our finger. Oh, okay. You don't need a lot of glues. And then you want to line up on the top. On the top, okay. Okay. Yes. You align the paper, I'll put the glue. Which way is it? Is it? Glue <laughs> yeah, it. it. goes on yeah, the board, Miley, right. not all over your hand. Line it up. Okay, so it's lined up. Okay. Yeah, we got to do the speed up version. We're quickly running out of time here. Right. So, so let's, let's see. Um, let's put on. This one. This one's supposed to go there. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So. so we're going to line, yeah. line it up to the top. All right. Yep. There we go. So that's it? Okay. And then we light afterwards. Okay. Oh, the, oh, oh they, they finished. We, we lost the race. Well, I wasn't <laughs> racing. I wanted to do it well. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're ready to light. Oh, wait, wait. It's slipping. Don't, don't. Stay. <laughs> All right, great. And now we need a little bit more glue right here. Artistic. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Very good. <laughs> so, so we have our lanterns, yeah. and the last thing to do would be to, to light, light them, them yes. right? right? And do you make a wish as you light them? What's, what's the tradition? We pray or you can make wishes okay. Okay, to light them. So do you want to start now? Sure. sure. Do you want to light yours? or? You better wish that that uh, light. I, I know, right? <laughs> Just from their safety. So yeah. far, I'm going with wealth and success, but not successful with the light. <laughs> right, so we're getting there. Start. We're getting there. <laughs> All right. Sweet. All right. So this one is basically completed. All right. So here we go. Right, so the first one is lit. Go ahead. So now you can come yourself and make sure that your wishes go into the I already pool. made mine. I already made mine. <laughs> I have wealth there, so I made mine. <laughs> All right, there you have it. And so this is uh, personal security, I think. And what was my second one? Friendship. Um, Friendship, yes. 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 Um, and uh, definitely, this is such a great experience, and I think it, it definitely highlights uh, a bit of what the students go through when they're in your class, a great way to learn about new cultures and appreciate different cultures, most importantly. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to have so much fun. The event takes place once again. Let's get the details. Okay, well, it's taking place next week, Tuesday, mm -hmm. okay. 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Nice. At night, yeah, at night. Mm -hmm. And we're going, it's going to be right at the Ramada pool. Please yeah. bring your ID if you're interested in coming and see this take place. Um, because there will be heavy security, you know, yeah. there's going to be youths uh, mm -hmm. from all over the place. Yeah. And then um, you come, enjoy the program, have fun. You can bring your family if yeah. you wish. And then that's basically it. Come make your wish. Oh. Over 250 uh, candles, candles. Can lanterns yeah. have there. been made. Yeah. Wow. It's going to be a great event, and thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Share oh. with us, sorry. I think I think that's about all. But um, or just talk about the program. Mm -hmm. So the Spotlight Taiwan is a um, a program from the Ministry of Culture in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So they sponsor programs abroad mm -hmm. and around the world, meaningful programs. So mm -hmm. we are right. very grateful for the opportunity that we have here. And we're grateful and to have you. Yeah, and for this experience as well. Best of luck next week, guys. Great job. We have to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we'll be joined by musical guest, Lloyd Depp.